In this video, I will be talking about the part 2 of profit planning in the cost volume profit analysis. So we'll be talking about three major things, the CVP sensitivity analysis, the BEP graph and um, CVP graph, and the operating leverage. So to start, we'll have let's move on to CVP sensitivity analysis. So if you remember before, in the basic CVP assumption, it's stated there that all other things or all other variables of profit remains constant throughout. However, in reality, that is not usually the case. So, in reality, there are really, or in the real world, there are really changes that impacts the profit of the companies as, as a whole. So, it doesn't necessarily apply na constant per me ang imuhang sales or uh, not sales, imuhang um, variable cost, imuhang fixed cost. Diba? Like for example, your fixed cost, diba? your fixed cost changes kada month. Okay, magdepende sa imuhang bill baron. So, diligent constant always ang imuhang mga variables that affect the profit. So, that is why na ay sensitivity analysis also in your CVP. Now, I know you're already familiar with sensitivity analysis. Kaya na ano ni sa BA424 before, di ba? Diba? Kato is linear analysis. Ganito. So, more on computation. So, muna lagi pong ingon ani ang sa CVP sensitivity analysis. So, unsay impact if na ay change or unsay impact sa imuhang profit if there are changes in your variables. So, Again, those variables mentioned can either be sales price, variable cost, fixed cost, or the sales mix. So again, it concerns about predicting the outcome of profit given the changes in variables that I mentioned. So to fully understand it, let's have an example. So here in your in the Excel side, you can see here, Dinga company established the following information which this information is na nasa katong gibalik ra tong akong gigamit for previous sa previous nga discussion no so given a unit sales price of 350 variable cost of 190 total fixed cost of 380 and units sold of 500 now here in the left side you can see uh, i noted the amounts so that you would know the original amounts diba so Prior to the changes, these are the amounts na given. So, you have a total sales of 1750 down to the margin of safety in pesos of 918,750. So, mo na ang before sa imuhang mga changes. Now, as I mentioned, sensitive CVP sensitivity analysis deals with changes, diba? So, let's have here an example. So, for example, daw, your unit sales price will increase by 20%. Now, what we are trying to do here is understand the impact of one change or one variable change to the other factors. So, once say change, if na increase in sales price, what would happen to your variable cost, what would happen to your fixed cost, what would happen to your profit, break-even, margin of safety, and so on. So, that is what we are trying to understand here. So, again... The example or first um, scenario is that the you oh, I'm so sorry. There is an increase by 20% of your unit sales price. Now again, be careful of the statement or the um, preposition used if by basha or to because again there are different things. So in here it is stated increased by 20% ang imuhang sales price. So Let's manipulate this one. And then, since increase by 20% man siya, so, by man, so, punan siya og 20%. So, the sales price would then become, or multiply na to 1.2. So, C. Look at the changes that happen. So, again, you have here on your left side, the original values and the change values here in the Excel part. Now, let's start with our um, contribution margin. So, of course, 
as you have noticed, your if there is an increase in your unit sales price, your contribution margin also increased. So from 800, nahimo siyang 1,150,000. So there is, since there's an increase in your contribution margin, of course, there is also an increase in your contribution margin rate. Diba? Ano naman siya increase? Because your, your fixed cost, uh, no, not your fixed cost, but your variable cost remain the same. Diba? Ang imong sales price lang ang ni increase. So, of course, there is an increase in your, it would result in an increase in your CMR. Now, another thing that we can look at is our profit. So, of course, with an increase in unit sales price, you can also notice an increase in your profit. So, from 420, it became 770. Another thing is, let's look at your break-even point. Now, your break-even point, what happened is that it decreased. Yes. So, from 2375, the value of BEP per unit, uh, in units is only 1652.17. So, there is an increase in your BEP. Now again, why is there an increase? Uh, why is there a decrease in your um, BEP? Of course, ni nakuman ang imuhang sales price, and then diba they have indirect relationship, so that is why there is a decrease in your break-even point. Now, as to your margin of safety, your mar margin of safety has increased. So, from 2625, na mo na siyang 3347. So, once around in yung hong or let's recap again, if on, if there is an increase in your unit sales price, your contribution margin, profit, and margin of safety increased, while only your break-even point decreased. So, mo na ang nahitabo din hi. Now, let's try to move on to another example or let's have another example. This time, what change is your unit variable cost? So, again, what we are changing or what changed is your unit variable cost? So, it increased by 10%. So, let's add 10%. So, here, you've already seen the changes. Now, as you can see, if there is an increase in your unit variable cost, let's first look at our contribution margin. So, for our contribution margin, we have noticed that there is a man, there is a decrease in your contribution margin. So, thus causing a decrease in your contribution margin rate as well. Now, as to your profit, by your Profit also, no, sabi niyo, profit, your profit decrease. Okay, di ba, nigamay man yung contribution margin. So, meaning, bugamay po ng imuhang profit. So, that is the effect of a change in your unit variable cost. Now, as to your break-even point, as you can see here, your break-even point increased. So, there is an increase in your break-even point. And then, there is a decrease in your margin of safety. So, as you may have noticed, di ba, more opposite iyahang effect sa katong change ni mo or increase ni mo sa imuhang unit sales price. So, muna siya. So, again, if there is an increase in your unit sales price, what increased is only your break-even break even point. The rest, kay decrease ang iyahang impact. So, Mona imuhang hinumduman. So, meaning, if you are asked on sa may relationship sa imong variable cost to your contribution margin, diba, since na may increase imong contribution margin, and then if there's an increase in your, not contribution margin, rather, your variable cost, if there was an increase in your variable cost, which caused a decrease in your contribution margin, so more or less, makaingan ka nga negative ilang relationship, diba, or indirect. Same with your profit and your margin of safety. Which again, as I mentioned, opposite sa katong nahitabo nga nata increase in our sales. Or sales price. Now, let's move on to the third example. Which is, there ang atong change na is our fixed cost. So, in here, there is a decrease in our fixed cost. So, again, decrease to. 
Oo ha, decrease to. As I mentioned, be careful with the prepositions if by or to ba ang gigamit. So, if it decrease to 350, so let's just change that to 350. Okay, so what have you noticed? First, is that there were no changes in your contribution margin. Meaning, your contribution margin remained as is. Your contribution margin ratio or rate stayed the same. What change or on saan nai impact ra is to your profit. So, your profit, if there is an increase in your fixed cost, of course, your profit would decrease. Now, as to your break-even point and margin of safety, for your break-even point, since there is a increase in your fixed cost, of course, your break-even point would decrease. So, muna siya. Kaya ni gamay man ang imuhang fixed cost. So, diba your break-even point is dependent on your fixed cost. So, meaning mo gamay po ang imuhang break-even point. Now, as to your margin of safety, your margin of safety kay ni increase siya. So, ano siya? Again, let me recap ha, kanina is decreased on your fixed cost. So, again, if there's a decrease in your fixed cost, your profit increases, your break-even point decreases, your margin of safety increases, and there is no effect on your contribution margin. So, pag opposite said, if your fixed cost increases, your profit decreases, your break-even point increases, and your margin of safety decreases. So, ano lang na siya? Now, let's try to have or make changes as to our units sold. So, our units sold increased by 20%. So, let's increase this by 20%. Okay. So, what have you noticed? If there is an increase in units sold, uh, first is that there is an increase in your, um, what do you call this, contribution margin. However, take note that if you look at your contribution margin rate, let's, contribution margin rate, diba? This is the original because I forgot to place it here for the rates. The original is 45.71 for the CMR. Now, if we go back, so, a change in the number of units sold does not change the CMR, but it changes the, of course, it changes the amount of contribution margin. There is an increase in the amount of contribution margin, but as to the rate, the rate stays the same. Again, the rate stays the same because what changed is only the units sold. As to the per unit is same by agyapon siya, it would remain still at 160. So, the rate would not change regardless of the changes in your units sold. Now, as to your profit, your profit, there is a, of course, there is an increase in your profit because there is an increase in the number of units sold. And also, if you have noticed, your break-even point doesn't change as well. Diba? Your break-even point doesn't change as well because as I mentioned, what changed only is the number of units which has, it has no impact as to the computation of your break-even point. Now, as to your margin of safety, of course, your margin of safety would increase because an increase in units sold would um equate to an increase in your sales. So, mo na siya na there is an increase in your margin of safety. And last example is here we are try, we'll try to combine diba, the changes or there is not just one change that, that has happened. So, there are a total of three in here. So, again, delete it's not always nga tag isa isa ra ang change nga mahitabo ha. Pwede duha, pwede tulo, pwede tanan, mausab, diba? So, it would depend on the problem. So, that is why you, sh you need to read carefully. So, in this case, um, unit sales price, no, not to 100. This is 100. 
unit sales price increased to 400 so let's change this to 400 unit variable cost increased by 15 percent so and your total fixed costs increased by five percent Okay, so given the following changes, na na siya. There is, it would be harder to really accurately determine the impact of each of each because the balahi lahi ba yung treatment or lahi lahi ba yung impact ang kada variable to your profit. Unlike if it mix na sila, cause if there are more than two change or if there are more than one change that occurred, is pwede ba it's either mo complement ang ilang changes or mo offset. So like for example, di ba in our preview um in the previous katulong mga previous examples sa tuganiha, the increase in sales price, the increase in sales price cost an increase in profit. Diba? Moto siya ang general rule. The increase in your unit sales price cost an increase in your profit. However, an increase in your unit variable cost generally decreases your profit. Diba? Moto siya. Katon sa babaw. Gani harin na first previous examples. The increase in unit sales price generally increases your profit, though an increase in your variable cost generally decreases your profit. That is why, if we are already dealing with more than one change, it is harder to determine the relationship, your like like general relationship. We cannot say uh, there is an increase in sales price and an increase in variable cost. It will total to a an um, net increase in your profit, but it's not like that because it would depend on the amount of increases nila as to their total impact. But what you just need to know is to take into account all the changes para kabaw ka kung pila ang total change or pila ang yung total impact sa imuhang profit and to the other properties as well. So in this, ex or not properties, but to the other variables. So in this example, Given that there are increase in your unit sales price, increase in your unit variable cost, and an increase in your total fixed cost, specifically lang ha to this example, you have, you may um what you've noticed is that the, it cost a increase in your contribution margin. Diba generally there's an increase in your contribution margin. However, as you have noticed. It cost a decrease in your CMR, diba? It cost a decrease in your contribution margin rate. So if you if you compare our original contribution margin rate was forty five point seventy one. However, in here it already became forty five point thirty eight. So that is why, as what I've mentioned, it's not the individual impacts of each variable. So the other variables is not always absolute because it would still depend on the other factors diba? if you are dealing with more than one. So in here, even though there is an increase in your contribution margin as to peso, when it comes to the rate, contribution margin rate, it has a decrease or it decreased the contribution margin rate. Now, as to your profit, it resulted to an increase in your profit and then it was but it resulted to um if you can see oh let's go back to the original it resulted to a decrease in your uh no not decrease increase in your profit rate as well so as you can see here the original profit rate was 24 percent and then in here it's already 25 oh, no not that one it's already 25.43 now, as to your break-even point, your break-even point decreased, and then your margin of safety increased. So, this is just for this example. Now, one thing that you may also have noticed is, which I think I forgot to point out, 
in the previous discussion is that if you may if you may have noticed your break even rate plus your margin of safety rate will always be equal to one again your break even rate and your margin of safety rate would always be equal to one because your break even rate is mo ba na siya ang kanirang sa parts sa imuhang fixed cost or katong parts sa imuhang fixed cost nga makaprofit kag zero. Now, di ba, your margin of safety is mo na na siya ang katong um, part ni mo sa imuhang actual sales plus your budgeted or uh, no, not budgeted, your break even. So, mo na siya nga mo ikwa siya o one. So, kaya na siya. Now, that is for the CVP analysis. So again, how what is important here is you understand the effect of one change or one oh yeah one change of the variable to the other variables, especially to profit. Now, the general effect or the effect of a change is not generally absolute. So especially if there are more than one change sa variable na nahitabo. So, just like in here, di ba, dili jud necessarily nga um, increase or de increase imong profit or mo decrease imong profit, it would defend, it would defend, it would depend on the amounts kung pila ang increase, pila ang decrease, ana, pero what is important is you need to understand, what you need to understand here is katong mga general impacts nila. So, general impacts nga, katong sila lang isa ba, like sales price, Generally, maka increase increase in sales price. Generally, increases profit. Kana lang kana lang na relationship imo dapat hinumduman. So, for example, an increase in unit variable cost, de ba? Um, an an increase in unit variable cost generally increases break even point. So, ina na lang kana na mga relationships ang dapat ninyong hinumduman. Because once you understand that, whatever values ang gihatag dery is makuha naman na ninyo. Diba? Whatever values ang gihatag, whatever values ang given, if you understand the relationship of one factor to another, is makuha or na ninyo ang total change nga gipangita or ang impact nga gipangita. Next, let's move on to the BEP graph and the CVP graph. So, BEP graph or break-even point graph assumes that the production and sales level are within the relevant range and thus it follows the assumption of linearity behavior of revenues and costs. This graph is often used for short-term planning and controlling purposes. So, kanya itong BEP graph is nag-follow siya atong katong ato ang basic, di ba, sa atong CVP nga. Assumption, uh, basic CVP assumptions. Kani ang follow ani sa to ang BEP graph. So, I will show you. Okay. So, given the following data, so naman ni, <clears throat> you have these data, and then, oh, you have a unit sales price of 20, variable cost of 12, and then, ano, formula na na siya, para makuha imuhang profit. Now, below is the graph. <clears throat> As you can see here, the blue line is the graph for your total sales. So, kaning total sales na column? Now, your orange line, or let's, no, let's um, backtrack sa the total sales. As you can see here, your total, your total sales is Ang zaman siyang nahitabo, na siya'y upward na slope pa. So, um, your totals, if there is an increase in your units, which kanina sa obos, if there is an increase in your units, your um, value or your amount of amounts, amount mo or your actual sales would also increase. So, mo niya nasa yung vertical axis. So, again, if your profit or no not profit if your production increases muna ko po ang imuhang um, value now as you can see here arita sa ato uh, or ari sa inyuhang um what you call this total fixed cost <clears throat> your total fixed cost is naka orange is horizontally flat meaning your fixed cost is 
constant. Regardless of the um, number of units, is your fixed cost would remain the same. Now, anita sa your total variable cost. Your total variable cost is kani imuhang gray. So, ano siya? Your total variable cost is also the same, di ba? Is linear siya with your linear and your relationship. So, na I increase in your units is mo increase pa di muhang cost. Now, your total cost, if you can notice here, your total cost did not start at zero. Diba? Your total cost started sa imuhang fixed cost. O, diba? Arisa, nag-meet siya dyan sa imuhang fixed cost, which is at the 800. So, muna din na ang imuhang total cost. And as you can see, parallel siya sa imuhang um, var total variable cost. So, ang ihalang difference here is katong sa starting point niya, which is your fixed cost. So, same, inana po ang imuhang, or inana ang trend sa imuhang um, total cost. Now, let's try, or um, let's try to see the changes in the graph if na po tayo changes ato ang mga values, no? So, oh, before that, eh, before I forget, is if you have noticed the line or the intersection point kani the intersection point of your total cost and your total sales so of course that is your break even point so kaning intersection again the intersection of your total sales and your total cost sa imuhang graph is your break even point so your break even point diri palang daan is you can point out already that your break even point is at 100 na units break even point in units is 100 and then break even point in pesos is 2 million so this is your break even point now another thing that um if you noticed is the difference between your total sales and your total variable cost, that is your contribution margin. So, kanisyang, kanisyang space diri ah. Nga to nang i-highlight or nga to i-shade. That is your contribution margin. So, again, your contribution margin is your total sales minus your total variable cost. Now, your margin of safety, your margin of safety, if there is a actual units here nga nas nabaligya so for instance your margin of safety or your actual unit actual units or actual sales is ibutang na to na sa 5 million so your 5 million so na diri mo 5 million then and your 2 million so mo na ang imuhang range sa imuhang margin of safety so kani siya kani kana siya nga part mo na ang imuhang margin of safety so, ano siya? Now, again, let's try to look at <coughs> Let's try to look at what would happen if we make changes to the data. So, what would happen to the graph? No. So, let's How do we do this? Can I make it already new? Okay, so first it's let's try to have an increase or ato tong i buhato na to mga changes nga gigamit ganiha no sa to example sa CV, uh, sensitivity analysis. So first let's try um there is an increase in your unit sales price of 20%. So for instance, this is your unit sales price. So again, there is an increase of 20%. So, what would happen to your graph? Oh, so, what have you noticed? What change in your graph or on sa ang ni move is your blue line lang, ba? Your total sales. Because that is what was affected ra sa imuhang changes. So, only your total, cha your total sales change. So, muna ang hitabo if there is an increase in your um, sales price. As you can see, ni, mas sisaka ang imuhang 
ko on the your graph atong let's try to go back ah, see so if katong with the increase is mas ni so mas ni steep ang imuhang mas ni steep ang imuhang slope diba with the increase in your sales price now let's try na there is an increase in your variable cost so there is an increase of 10% in your variable cost unit variable cost so what change is what's gonna change your gray and your yellow line again ato i try ha diba so pag increase sa imo ang variable cost imong gray o yellow line kay ni saka pod sila oops oh so, yeah, pag increase sa imo ang variable cost c so ni saka ang imo hang um gray and yellow na line so Again, nga nung naapil ang yellow because ang yellow is parallel na siya sa imuhang total variable cost na line. So, if there are changes in your total variable cost, of course, the um, line for your total cost would change as well. Now, let's try if there is a if there is an increase or if your if there is an increase in your total fixed cost so let's try to increase our fixed cost by 1 million no not by 1 million let's increase it to 1 million okay lucky one okay so what change here is your orange na line and your yellow na line. So, of course, your fixed cost is still horizontal. Still horizontal. Flat kaya pun siya. But, ni move lang siya upward. Diba? So, ang iyahang value ang ni change. So, as to the regardless of the number of units is wala siya ikuan, wala siya impact. So, horizontal kaya pun siya. And also, your total cost. Your total cost is mas nilayo lang siya sa imuhang variable cost tungod kay mas nilayo man po ang iyahang starting point. Diba? Your, the starting point of your total cost is your total fixed cost. So, since na may increase sa imuhang total fixed cost, so the distance between your total variable cost and total cost increased as well. Now, next change is kana na siya? If, again, if there are combined changes na diri, so for example, oh, ato na to ipang combine ang mga changes na to ganiha. Okay, mm. So your graph would change as well depending on the changes na nahitabo. So ano lang na siya. This is your PEP graph. Now as you have noticed is ang iharag yud is kung unsa changes sa imong revenue, kung unsa changes sa imong um cost. Diba? So, linear rang, or linear assumption rang yang gigamit. Now, if we move on to CVP, CVP graph, the CVP graph puts emphasis on the behavior of profit over the different levels of production. Ganiha sa BEP, ang atua is ang behavior sa revenue o cost ang atua ang gigraph. Sa CVP, ang profit ang atong gigiven o emphasis. So, there is isa na lang atong line. Diba? We only have here the profit na line. So, as you can see, sa imuhang profit na line, diba, ana siya, na anay point nga nalapas sa imuhang zero point. So, this is your zero point. And this is your profit line. Now, in your profit line, ma-identify na dahil ni mo automatically where is your break-even point because you can identify where your break-even point is because ang break-even point ni mo is katong point kung asa zero ang imuhang um, profit or loss. So, this is your profit or loss na value, di ba? This is your sales. So, again, your sales is your x-axis here, your profit and loss amounts are your 
y-axis. So, the profit line is my identify any mo as ang break-even point because that is the point wherein your profit line intersected with the x-axis. So, kanisya, kanisya nga point theory can intersect sa imong x-axis. That is your break-even point. And with that, you can determine your asa ang imuhang profit, uh, asa ang imuhang loss o ang profit na side. So, for instance, if you are going to earn a profit of less than 2 million, so, kani, kani, sa inyong kuhan, profit line, if, are you na ka sa less than 2 million, so, ang kani siya nga part, tiri, is, mo na siya ang imuhang loss. Kaya, di ba, na naman ka sa loss na part sa imuhang um, graph. If you earn more than that, so, if your sales is more than that amount, is automatic na na siya nga, profit na na siya nga portion. So, ano na siya? Meaning, this part here is your profit, this part here is your loss na portion. So, mas na better, um, dairy on your profit line is na take into account na niya ang imuhang mga total cost, variable cost, fixed cost, sales, and production, uh, your number of units. So, na account na na niya tanan sa imuhang profit and loss. So, the CVP graph is often used for long-term um, analysis. So, ang imuha lang ani is if you are to ask, but asang imuhang contribution margin o margin of safety and miss. So, of course, your contribution margin is ani na po. Kung asa ang um, after sa imuhang break even point, di ba? If ma reach na imong break even point, so meaning na na po kay contribution margin ana. So, Again, diba, the relationship of your contribution margin and your profit is direct. So, if there is an increase in your profit, meaning na po na increase sa imuhang contribution margin and vice versa. So, ana siya. Last topic is our um, operating leverage. So, operating leverage refers to the ability of the business to increase, to increase its profit in relation to its contribution margin. So, siba, sige nag-emphasize sige nag per me ang relationship of your profit and your contribution margin. Now, in here, to determine the degree of operating leverage, we can get it by dividing the contribution margin by your EBIT or your earnings before income tax. Or in our case here is, pero siya ngamito na ito nga, profit. So, Let's have an example to further understand it. So, another way they have getting the DOL is your change in your EBIT divided by your change in your percentage, uh, percentage change in your sales. So, let's have an example. So, kani same gap sa tong data before, diba? So, what change or ang ato ang conundiri is we have to get the degree of operating leverage. So, how do we get it? Again, our degree of operating, or ang question here, man, is what would happen, diba? what would happen to your profit or earnings before income tax if there is a change, there is a percentage change, increase of, uh, if there is, if your sales rather increased by 40%. So, again, ang question na to, Annie, is how much is the percentage change of your earnings before tax or your profit if there is an increase of 40% in your sales? So, that is what we are trying to find out. So, again, atong question is kani. Pila daw ang change sa imuhang, pila impact sa change sa imuhang profit if na kay 40% nga change sa imuhang sales? So, in order to do that, we can use the contribution or we can use the degree of operating le leverage. So, again, in getting our DOL, that is simply our contribution margin divided by our profit. Diba? So, we have an upper, um, DOL of 1.9. Now, if balik tarin yung formula, DOL can also be taken by the Percentage change in EBIT divided by percentage change in sales. So, ato or na siyang i... What do you call this? Um, so, may term na I forgot. Uh, I forgot the term. Basta, 
Kanahin mong gamiton. <laughs> Mako, para makuha ni mo ang iyo ang percentage change in EBIT. So, your percentage change in EBIT is simply, di ba, imuharang i-multiply ang imuhang percentage change in sales with your DOL. So, kana siya. So, you have your percentage change in EBIT nga, 76.19%. Now, your, ang pag-analyze ni mo, Annie, or your interpretation is that, if there is a 40% change in your sales, your, prop, your profit would then have a 76.19% change as well. So again, if there is now a 40% change in your sales, ang imuhang profit is mo change po siya, or in this case, di ba, si increase man. So if there is a 40% increase in your sales, your profit would have a 76.19% increase. So, nanong increase man miss? Di ba? Yung sa mga paghibang increase, balik ato sa katong imuhang CVP sensitivity analysis. That's why I mentioned what is important is you know the general na impact if there are changes of one variable to the profit and to the other variables. So, di ba? Before, is ato aman is if there is a change in your Sales, for example, if there's a change in your sales price, diba, there, the general impact to your profit is an increase. Or, again, if there is an increase in your unit sales price, the general impact is that, that there is an increase in your profit. No, diba? If there is an increase in your unit sold, general impact is that there is an increase in your profit. If there is an increase in your unit variable cost, general impact is that it would cause a decrease in your profit. So, diha na nga makahibaw ka nga increase eh, ang yahang effect so since increase man yung sales increase po na yung muhang profit so mo na siya so again remember there is a 76.19 now let's take note of that 76.19 let's try if there really is indeed a 76.19% increase in your um, profit so 40% Increase in sales. Kung sa itong increase ani? Atong unit sales price ba? Atong variable cost ba? Atong fixed cost ba? Atong unit sold ba? Since, ang dimension naman is sales. So, of course, mga to ang mga general ko na na assumption is ang imuhang units sold. So, para ma-increase imuhang sales, uh, imu sales is diba na kay general increase in your units sold. So, there is a 40% increase in your sales. Okay. So, as you can see, balik da ita aning sa katong original so that you will know. Di ba? Maunin ang katong original. So, your profit from 420 is nahimo siyang 740. Now, your sales is from 170 50, nahimo siyang 2,450. So, let's try to confirm if there really is a 76.19% increase. 740 minus 420. Anong atong gi minus man? Because we are looking for the change. Diba? Ang percent change man ang atong gipangita. So, it's 740 minus 420. So, on total change is na increase of 32, 32 uh, 320,000. Nai increase na 320,000. Now, 320,000 is what percent of the original amount? Mona, mona ay mong ipangita man, di ba? So, to get that, that's 320 divided by 420. So, that is a. Ah. So. There is a 76.19% change or increase in your profit. Or so, pwede rin na siya yung nun, nga di ba? Your 420, 420,000 times 1.7619. Di ba? Kaya increase by 1.7619 ba? So, 7399 or since na round off mo na to ang 
kuan ganiha so kana siya or 740 so therefore de ba ma understand ni mo or makakuha na ka sa imuhang or ma imuha nang maanticipate your percentage change in your profit given sa percentage change pa lang daan sa imuhang sales now another way of getting the degree of operating leverage is through your margin of safety so this is the last part already let's just um do this okay so again you can get your degree of operating leverage through your margin of safety that is simply one divided by your msr again one divided by your MSR or margin of safety in a rate. So let's try if parihas ba. One divided by your margin of safety in a rate, which is 1.9. Now, ganong parehas na siya gawas miss. If you remember, kaya itatong tanaw tong formula. Okay. If you remember, di ba your MSR if ma remember mo tong, uh, no, not this one. Not this one. Oh, this one. Diba? Your MSR is your net profit rate divided by your CMR. Diba? Mo na imuhang MSR. Now, your DOL is your CMR, your contribution margin divided by your profit. Diba? Or CMR divided by your NPR. So, meaning, if we apply math, diba? Reciprocal rin na siya ang imuhang um, DOL. So, imuha rin siyang i-reciprocal ang kato imuhang MSR. Kaya para mabalito imuhang CMR o NPR. Kagets ra? Kala sa math ba? <laughs> I hope kagets ra mo. Pero basta mo na siya ang imuhang relationship nga nganong makuha or nganong makuha po nimo ang DOL gamit ang imuhang MSR because again your M, your MSR is your CMR times your NPR di ba then ang imuhang DOL baya is nagdeal gud gap sad siya sa imuhang contribution margin ug sa imuhang profit di ba ani sa imuhang CMR is di ba ko ansa ba ni siya your if Basta kagat sa mo. I don't know if you can really imagine it. Pero, kano lang, ang imuhara ani is uh, the relationship or ang saan nag-connect ni MSR o ni DOL. So, ang nag-connect ni MSR o ni DOL is the contribution margin o si profit. Diba? Siya ang ga-connect. Sila doon ang ga-connect ni MSR o DOL. Mauna nga, makuha na ni mo ang DOL gamit si MSR. Okay, diba si Again, as I mentioned, technically, si DOL is si, uh, contribution margin divided by profit. Now, si MSR is your profit divided by your contribution margin. Diba? Kagets ra? So, bali ra siya. So, meaning, si mura siya, DOL is equal to your kanag sa math, ni mo nga reciprocal or ni mo siya. So, i1 divided by the reciprocal or the number itself. So, kana reciprocal of the number. So, in ano na siya na sa MSR o sa DOL. So, I hope nakagets na mo. But, mo na siya. Basically, ang relationship. So, meaning, to get the percentage change in, in EBTDI is dili ra siya nga makuha through the DOL. So, pwede ra nga maski na ara kay or basically dili necessary nga um ang given gyud nimo nga data is magkuha kag DOL no basta as long as you have the contribution margin of the profit is makuha na nimo ang imong percentage change in your EBT through the DOL pero as again as i mentioned is dili always na explicitly given ang imong DOL so most of the time is Ikaw pa ang mag-compute, ana. Na, yung getting your DOL is moto siya. You need to remember, you can get your DOL if even if you're only given the MSR 
or you can get the DOL even if ang gihatag ra sa imo is ang contribution margin o ang MSR. So, di ba? Kailangan pa niyo makuha ang imuhang profit which mag-work back, work back na kaana or mag on sa may term na ka na letter D na term I forgot the term in math. Uh, basta ka na siya. So, ka na lang. That is all about the operating leverage. And that ends the discussion on profit planning and cost volume profit analysis. So, again, what is important here or what should be emphasized aside from the formulas, no? You can understand the formulas best if you understand the relationships. Again, you can understand the formulas best if you understand the relationships. So, if makasabot na kasi relationship, katong increase, decrease, kana, um, unsay connection, like for example, how is DOL connected from MSR, di ba? How is MSR connected to your break-even point, di ba? So, if makasabot ka, Anna, ang ilang mga relationships with each other, is dali na lang yung kini mo pag-think or pag-remember sa mga formulas. Because the formulas are based kasad sa relationships. So, mo na imuhang timailhan yun. The formulas are just based on the relationships. So, mo na basic yun or the foundation is you need to understand the relationships of the variables with of the variables to profit and the variables to other variables para makasabot ka on how to get things. Even if ka nang feel ni mo makuha ba day ang ingon ani nga kanir ang given. So, wala ka kabaw is na din na sila yung mga common ground. Diba? So, asa na sila nga morag mag-meet sila. So, mo na yung mukhang kailangan i-understand or yung mukhang kailangan hinumduman yun. So, kanil lang siya And hopefully you've understood profit planning and cost volume profit analysis. This is a very easy topic, easy panisha for me. Ah, easy, easy, easy man yun ang mas. Pero kana siya one of the easiest lang niya. What is hard is you have to remember a lot of relationships. But if imo na nasa ng engrave sa imo hang mind and heart, is dali na lang yun kayo para ni mo like automatic na yun, ah, okay, mo din, may tabo, okay, mo na ni Anna, so, mer, dali na lang yun kayo, if mo, imuha lang yung, if mo remember, like, if mo remember ka sa basic, so, ako, ah, is, dili necessary, nga, or, dili yun, I don't advise you, nga, ang inyong hinumduman, ra, is ang formula, radit, so, again, I don't advise you, to, memorize the formula, that, diha, na yun mo sa formula, ra, mong pilit, because, Again, the formula, lipat-lipaton ramuan na ang imuhang formula, di ba? So, um, daghan kayo paagi nga ma-ilad-ilad uh, ma mo na yung formula or kana lipat-lipaton lagi mo. So, if dili mo maka-understand good sa relationship is wala mo kabaw po kung sa nga formula ang gamiton, di ba? Kung sa'y gamit siya mong pag-memorize sa daghan kayo nga formula, if makakabaw kung sa'yo na pag-gamit o kung sa'y effect ano niya if gamito na siya ani nga ani nga situation, or if ana na situation, di ba? So, again, understand first the theory, the relationship, before you memorize or before you familiarize yourself with the formula. Because, trust me, if makasabot na gid ka sa relationship, dali na lang gid kayo na ang pag-memorize sa formula. Like, di na lang gina siya memorize, ganyan, or ma-inherent na lang na siya. So, that would be all. And then, if you have questions, is i-post lang niya ato sa questions and Uh, queries and concerns na forum if you have things nga nalibgan sa kanina discussion.